What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find the least common multiple of two larger numbers. Okay, so the two numbers that we're gonna use here are 124 and 48. So the first thing you wanna do is just find the factors of each of your numbers. And you can do that a couple different ways. Here, I'm gonna just use the factor tree method, right? So 124, let's break that down. So we can break this down Let's see, 124 is even, so I can divide it by two, right? So I can break this down into 62 times two. Okay, do we have any prime numbers? Yes, we do, we have this two, right? So just circle it or underline it, just do something with it to mark it, right? Now, 62, we can keep breaking down. So 62, uh, again, it's even, so we can break that down and divide it by two. So we get 31 times two. Okay, and again, when you break something down, you just need to ask yourself, do we have any prime numbers here? And yes, we do. 31 and 2 are both prime numbers, all right? So this one is completely factored. Now let's do it with 48. So 48, let's see, we can break this down into, let's say, 4 times 12, all right? These are not prime numbers. We can break both of them down, right? So 4, we can break down into 2 times 2, all right? And both of these are prime numbers. And 12, we can break down into 4 times 3. Okay, uh, 3 is a prime number, so we'll circle that one. And again, 4, we can break down into 2 times 2. All right, so we get those last two prime numbers right there. Okay, now the next step is just multiplying all your prime factors together. And we're going to start with whichever number has more prime factors, right? So here we have three prime factors. Here we have five prime factors, right? So we're gonna write these first since there, there's more on this side, all right? So we're gonna say that 48 is equal to all these numbers multiplied together. Okay, so we're gonna say that 48 is equal to, let's see, two times two times two times two, right? So two times two times two times two times three, okay? Now, directly underneath here, we're going to write these other prime factors for 124, okay? So we're gonna say 124 is equal to, now I want to line up any similar factors, okay? So for instance, I have this two and this two, right? So I'm gonna line it up, let's say with this two right here and this two right here, okay? So these two twos are these two twos and they're lined up with the twos up here, right? And then lastly, we have this 31. Okay, now we don't have a 31 on top over here, so we're just going to write the 31 at the very end all by itself. Okay, now we basically just have one last step here. So now we're going to want to combine our factors vertically. I'm going to show you how to do that right here. Okay, so here we're going to say that the least common factor between the two numbers that we just broke down right here, right? So the least, sorry, the least common multiple of the two numbers that we just broke down, so of 48 and 124, is going to be equal to, now each of these little columns, we're only going to write them once, okay? So for instance, we have a two here and we have a two here, so we're gonna write a single two, okay? And then we're gonna multiply that by the next little column right here, right? We have a two here and a two here, but again, we're only gonna write it once, right? So we're only putting a single two here. Here we just have a single two by itself, so we're just gonna bring that down by itself, same thing with this two and this three, right? Bring those down by themselves, times two times three. And this 31 is also by itself, so we're just gonna bring that straight down right here. Okay, cool. So now we have the least common multiple is equal to two times two times two times two times three times 31, right? So all we have to do is simply multiply this all together. Okay, so first of all, two times two, that's equal to four. So four times two, that's equal to eight. And then 8 times 2 is equal to 16, all right? So this right here is equal to 16. And then we still have times 3 times 31. Okay, now 16 times 3, that's equal to 48. So then here we have 48 times 31, all right? Times 31. And 48 times 31 is equal to 1,488, okay? So when we multiply all our factors together, the least common multiple of these two numbers, 48 and 124, is equal to 1,488. Boom. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. 
And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.